Hello everyone, good morning from Arnhem in the Netherlands. 30 years after the first edition, we are ready to go for the 2024 NEC Wheelchair Singles Masters and of course the Uniqlo Wheelchair Doubles Masters as well. First event in 1994 was also a Dutch affair held in Eindhoven. This week our home is the uh, Sportpark Moulenbeek and uh, it is in Arnhem and it is our home to the best wheelchair tennis players in the world and we start with a really good matchup Yui Kamaji of Japan our number one seed our singles and doubles champion from the Paralympics in Paris just was it only a few months ago it seems a lifetime doesn't it uh, up against Zhu Zhenzhen in the women's singles it is a round robin format before we get to the semi-finals and then the finals group A and uh, group B this is a group A affair between Kamaji and Zhu China against Japan and Asian affair indoors of course we were outdoors in Spain last year which was lovely but we did have a few windstorms so the weather not a factor here it's been very mild anyway in this eastern part of the Netherlands as we get underway with the uh, the niceties with our umpire just uh, about to get this match underway this should be an interesting one and if you go by form it should be a one-sided affair these two have met 22 times and 22 times Yui Kamaji has won including in 2021 in the singles masters in the round robin 6-2 6-2 and last year as well on clay in the round robin 6-3 6-2 they did meet in the quarterfinals in paris and it was a fairly standard win for the japanese player 6-1 6-2 so an uphill battle for this player. Experienced. Not as experienced, perhaps, as the Japanese national Kamaji. Kamaji, the 2013 singles masters champion, remains the only non-Dutch player to win the women's singles title. Ranking is to the 30-year-old, of course. She's been ranked number two for the last six years, was world number one last time in 2017. Won her last tournament in uh, Japan. So in good form coming here for this big event to finish off the season. They've been here early, warming up, ready for this opener. Not just here, we've got uh, other uh, courts as well, court one and court two. It's a wonderful complex, actually, the uh, tennis club here at Molenbeek. Indoor and outdoor courts, but we are indoors here. And this is our main court, centre court. We've got uh, five matches <laughs> today. We're going all through the day into the evening. Uh, this will get us underway then the men are in action Gustavo Fernandez against Gordon Reed that's a 
a long and uh, intense rivalry between those two, Argentina and uh, Great Britain. They've met a lot of times. And then uh, into the quads competition. Gisa Sun, David Wagner, Israel against the United States. And then back to the men's singles with De La Puente and uh, a home hope, Tom Egberink of the Netherlands. Before we get to the women's doubles, not before half past five local time. It's just gone half past ten local time. If wherever you are in the world, just trying to work out your time zones. Almost ready to get underway here. Serve, of course, such an important part in the game, but particularly in uh, the wheelchair version, if you can hang on to your serve, you're halfway there. Smattering of fans and spectators coming in. We expect that to build as we go through the week, of course, in this wonderful... Uh, facility and a, uh, before we get underway a brief shout out to NEC who have uh, been the sponsors of this tournament for the last 30 years all the tournaments from the start in Eindhoven and all the way through to the return to the Netherlands on the 30th anniversary so about to get underway Difficult in the round robins, just an early start, get yourself up and ready. Particularly uh, Yui Kimiji will be anxious to get off to a quick start. The uh, left-hander. As you and uh, Kimiji have uh, met, as I say, many times. Finalists in the last tournament, who uh, lost to Kimaji in Paris in the quarterfinals, so they know each other's game pretty well. of course with the other matches as well that are going on on court one court two court one sees uh and yeah van Koot, the number two seed uh, in action against uh because of that so Mujana of uh, south africa both uh van Koot and griffion Big uh, home favourites and favourites to do well in this tournament as well. In the quads, uh, Niels Vink flying the flag for the Netherlands. Well, we've had a bit of preparation. <laughs> but now we're almost ready to go. And uh, it's great that you're able to join us right at the start of this week long. Well, just seven days of action. Sunday is our finals day. We're almost ready to go.
Well, that's gone long. And Ju with uh, some good forehands in that round. He gets us underway, gets the first point. a very well placed shot from the Japanese player our number one seed showing just why she is in the form of her life at the moment in those 22 games they've had or matches rather this woman has taken just two games The two sets rather and that is wonderful anticipation into the net quickly and uh, certainly punishing the Chinese player it was a, a poor return under pressure and it was punished so quick around the court And that's a wonderful cross-court forehand. She with the first point that has been under the hammer since then in this first game. What a way to finish and break you serve. That forehand really is firing for Kimiji. Had plenty of time and right on the line. No chance at all for Zhu. And uh, well, she must be wondering what she has to do to break the stranglehold that the Japanese player has in contests between these two. Having said that, Kimichi has to get her serve right. Sailing so far for Kimiji. <laughs> First double fault of the match. I'm sure it won't be the last. Turn. She thought she played a decent shot and she had, but Kimichi has come out looking really good here.
Oh, and just a miss hit to rub salt into the wound. As Kimichi goes into a two games to love lead in this first set of our first match on centre court in the 2024 Masters Series. That's one that uh, the Chinese player just has to put to the back of her mind. Two left handers doing battle. Placement is just so precise. First shot setting it up. That was an easy winner in the end. That's even better. Goodness me. Jew is under the cosh here. Getting the ball back, but not posing any questions really for Kimiji. This is a masterclass at the moment. Was there you could hear the frustration from Zhu the shot was there couldn't get it over the net just uh, died on her a little bit as she went to play the shot it was reaching in the end but was very disappointed three break points She has been dominant so far. She leads by three games to nothing in this first set. Reaching a little too far there. A bit off balance. Couldn't quite control the shot. And as she takes the first break of this match, a lot to think about for Zhu. It's a tough old group for her. She uh, started the uh, preparation for this on the hard courts in Lorraine just uh, last week. Got to the final but lost to Angelica Bernal. So not a bad run for her. Not to the quarter final, of course, as we said in the uh, Paralympics. And we took three games in that match off of uh, this woman. Went out in the uh, first round in Wimbledon to Kimiji as well. Oh, she's finding the angles. Zhu is having to cover a lot of ground on the baseline. Right down by the uh, back of the court. Oh, a little just too hot for her.
She's still with no answers. Find herself a little tucked up there. That was the shot that went into the net. And her frustration is evident. points then. Serve's been impressive. Right into the corner again. No time for Zhu really to play her own game. And that'll do it to love. And so far Zhu is second best in this match. Tried a little bit of spin to get it over the net. Needs to hold this one to get a foothold in the match. Too good. She is in imperious form at the moment. First versus eighth seed, and at the moment it's showing. That's magnificent. <laughs> Wonderful. Just for a moment, Ju thought she had that point in her pocket, but both uh, athletes pinned to the back of the court for a while. And soon as she was able to come forward, a bit of delicacy. There was no way that Ju could get there in time. Kinnigy looking very good indeed at the moment. even better goodness me well Zhu is up against somebody who is just playing wonderfully maybe early on a Monday morning but she's brought her A game Previous shot set it up, didn't it? Right on the baseline. Had the choice of left or right. Went down the line and Zhu was trying to cover the cross court. Plain sailing so far for the Japanese player. towards a whitewash in this uh, first set. Preparation, took a break after uh, Paris and then at the end of October won the Kinoshita Group Japan Open. Again on a hard court there. Just dropped one game in the three matches quarter-final semi-final and final there 
She really is in ominous form. The uh, 2013 Singles Masters remains the only non-Dutch player to win the singles title. She's five low up in this first set and she has serve. Perhaps she is going to continue this uh, six love habit she has in recent tournaments. Toes as you just couldn't quite get the pick up accurately enough. Too much power in the end. Zhu bombarded. Not only bombarded, but look at the depth on the shot there. Looks a bit shell shocked, and I completely understand. She hasn't played badly, it's just that Kamiji is playing out of her skin at the moment. there to be hit the winner was tantalizing there for uh Zhu. but well perhaps because she hasn't had many opportunities she spurned it rehearses it but the fact remains we have a uh, set point here oh and that's better what a return that was what she can do great angle now she's starting to play some good tennis shoe perhaps just liberated by the situation, the dire situation, this first set she finds herself in. Got ran. It wasn't a powerful shot, but it was a well placed one. That forced the error from the Japanese player. about that three set points saved and the last three points unrecognizable to the rest of the first game and now under a bit of pressure Kamiji talked about the need to hold your serve if you possibly can Oh, but that is, yeah, wild from Jew. Again, set up nicely for her. Won't be happy with the way she uh, set herself up for that shot. Another chance to clinch this first set.
And that will do it. A bit more of a struggle in that sixth game. But Kamiji cruises really to the first set, looking in really good form. As you finding a little bit in that last game, but it wasn't enough. And in the end, our number one seed takes the first set. Six games to love. you do if you're Zhu Zhen Zhen. It's a tough old ask, isn't it, up against the relentlessness of Yui Kamiji. She's so quick. Happy to get to the net if needs be, but from the baseline, just can boss a point as well. Entertaining if one sided first set. Can you get a, uh, a foothold in the second one? In Wimbledon, when she went out in that round of 16 to Kimiji, 6 love, 6 4. Our Japanese fans are already here. Flying the flag and wearing the flag. Oh, oh this is the right idea. Right idea, but unlike Kimiji, not able to make it to stick. That's a great shot from Zhu, who had to readjust thanks to that net cord. A lot of spin on the ball. Flat over the net. It's a little too hot for Kamiji to deal with. into the corner. She's so good at finding those uh, angles. Looking to steal this game as well. Good from Zhu. Saw Kimiji was really motoring along the baseline. Just popped it the other side.
She's digging in deep here, looking to make a statement at the uh, start of this second game. Not this time. Kimichi kept getting that ball somehow back over the net. But Zhu for the first time in this match with a chance to take a game. And she worked hard for the point, didn't she? Has the advantage here. She worked hard, didn't she, to get th that point, get it back to Juice. Both players putting in the miles on the, well, behind the baseline, at the back of the court. And in the end, Kimiji just able to get the angle back to Juice then. serves of both these women has been pretty good but a double there will give Kimichi a chance to break oh dear real pressure now for Zhu oh four service faults in a row face I think says it all had a chance had a chance to take that and then rather gifted the game to Kimiji with two double faults has to be strong mentally now doesn't she On the line from Kimiji. That uh, shot that had a lot of spin on it, but uh, it was absolutely mastered, wasn't it, by Kimiji? She played a baseline volley. And in the end, she was able to boss the point. She had a lot of work to do. 
If you just stay in this match, the first match of the round robin in Group A. It's just too easy. Wonderful serve, setting up the point. Right into the corner, setting up the winner in the other corner. That's a wonderful a return of serve. Real control to it. A little tucked up, but got that uh, spin on the ball. That spin. Perfectly placed. And this has been a bit more of a battle, this second uh, set. Oh, that's even better. Now then, to just finding a bit of form. Has a break point. for herself no particular pressure on that shot looking to force the issue with the power but not the precision and she'll take a mile if, unless you're on your A game you are going to be under pressure and looks like she's going to hold serve here she's doing much better in this second set good serve excellent serve and she holds and Zhu, well that uh, search for an elusive first game continues eight games straight for Kimiji Olympic singles and doubles champion still in regal form isn't she Kimiji and Zhu has to hold here to have any chance really I think oh, it's, it's in right on the line at that point perhaps a micro of what's been happening in this match. Kimichi pinpoint accurate to chasing shadows, really. Oh. That's an even better return. Wow. I think you just have to get it right in the corner on the serve. Put pressure on Kimiji or she's going to punish you.
was a freebie. And she put it into the net. Won't possibly be drifting out. Wasn't going to take the the chance. Uh, oh. Grimace comes smile. She knew that was an opportunity. Shu again digging deep. Asking more questions in this second set for sure. Which is a little late to set herself for that shot. Serve this second serve, given uh, the delicate nature of this game at 30 or. crucial juncture like in the first game of this uh, second set she served two doubles in a row there is she going to do the same here she didn't but it doesn't matter it's another game to Kamiji and you can just see the frustration etched in Zhu's face. Zhu trailing by one set and by three games to love. Is round robin, of course. It's not the end of the world if you do lose here, especially not to Gamiji, but uh, it's a tough old group. Angelica Bernal. And compatriot Wang Ying also uh, in this group A. Very much a Dutch group B with Iske Griffion and the Ek Van Kut alongside uh, the United States, Dana Mathewson and Modiani of uh, South Africa. But Kamiji sitting pretty at the moment. No undue concern for uh, those wearing the red of Japan. You don't need me to say that one curved with the spin remarkably. Like an in-swinging delivery in cricket.
Ah, that is what Shu can do. Hasn't been able to show it really. Been under the cosh most of this match. Right on the baseline, giving her a chance to set up the winner. players who aren't in action at the moment are watching this but they'll certainly be uh, given something to feast upon for sure but ponder as well in Kimberji's uh, form from the get-go in this tournament right idea uh, the execution of it that she would have wanted. Again, she with a foothold in this game. She just has not been able to convert it. I mentioned how Kimiji has been winning matches to love. The last tournament, that was the, uh, the standard really. Tournament in Japan just dropping the one game on her way through to the title. She just trying to take the initiative. It's not a bad idea, but uh, does give Kimichi a point to convert for four love. Another one that just drifts away with the spin. What a way to wrap up in that game. She leads by four games to love and is very quickly heading towards her first win of this round robin part of the tournament. Wasn't a bad second serve, was it? But it was even better return. She did well to actually get to the ball, really. Look at the angle on the return. Just stroked the ball over the net. Did the job. shadows on that baseline it wasn't the worst serve ever but again the return into the corner it's long it's long and there's three break points for Kimiji Beginning of this second set by her standards, she faced a bit of resistance, but she's back in her stride.
Little double fault at a crucial time. And Jew is broken again. And uh, it is Kamiji who has the task of serving to wrap this match up in super quick time. She's been outstanding, really has. And Jew, I think, is a bit shell shocked. Just uh, has been outgunned, outthought. for the match then. <laughs> she will look to wrap this up. Get off the court nice and early. Rested, I guess, in such a quick match. Just long, just long. Trying to get it onto the wheels of Kamiji. Oh, that was a decent return. That's long. And so the pain for you may soon be over. Just tucked up a little bit. Couldn't control it as you'd have liked. Two match points then. Good for Anjou. One saved. Still an average size mountain to climb if used to have any impact on this match. Still one match point to save here. Just gone wide, and that will do it. Straight sets, six love, six love for Yui Kimiji, the number one seed, the world number two. That was 
hugely impressive and Zhu Zhenzhen of China the number eight seed here had no answer and Kimiji gets us underway in this tournament on center court with a breezy old win in straight sets she's uh, going to be in action later on in court two in the doubles alongside Modiani of uh, South Africa but uh, she's had an easy time here Zhu not able to deal with the Japanese player and loses six love six love 